Crucifix Productions. Crucifix Also, um, I'm an MD, um, musician, um, music director, um, anything you can think of musically, that's me. Um, I've been doing music since uh, I was five. Um, started out doing Broadway tunes uh, through uh, Miss Donna's School of Dance uh, back in the day, and um, church choir, of course. Um, and it just elevated ever since. Um, originally from Charlotte, um, who inspires me, uh, I would say a lot of the greats, such as um, Asley Brothers, um, Betty Wright, um, Layla Hathaway, um, R. Kelly, um, Stevie Wonder, Shaka Khan, a lot of the greats, I would say, inspire me as an artist. Um, I look at artistry uh, now as in song format. I think a lot of it is missing in music today, and that's an uh, element that I try to bring back uh, to the forefront um, as far as storytelling uh, from a sensual and a soulistic per, um, perspective. My goal is to bring back love through the airways. Um, whereas it's couples, whereas I think that's one of the biggest messages me, uh, missing out of music is love. Uh, where is it? Where it's sensual? Where is, you know, I love you? Um, where is the brotherly love? Just love in general. Uh, that's something I'm trying to bring back to the forefront. Um, I think that element is missing. The type of music that I do is, I, I call it sensual soul. Um, and sensual soul is music that it's, uh, it can be bedroom motivation. It can be uh, inspirational music to, to let a person know that, hey, you know, I love you and, um, or I want you, or, this is how you should be treated. Um, I try to focus on those uh, that topics at um, at a show, um, how a woman's supposed to treat a man, or how a man is supposed to treat a woman, or vice versa. However you swing. Um, um, so I would classify again the music that I do as sensual soul. Uh, I hate to use the word struggle because. It, Struggle is a word that, um, it's a reminder of, of what could have. Um, where I'm going is, is my main um, focus, but looking back, um, one of the struggles I can say that uh, was a hindrance or a slight deterrence or roadblock was the loss of my father, which put my project on hold last year. Um, he passed in November, uh, November 9th. Um, we buried him, and three days after I uh, buried my father, we were shooting all through the night. So three days after we buried him, he, uh, we, I was shooting music video, trying to stay focused. Um, during that, um, shortly thereafter, um, shot stroke, 
Um, and um, I was blessed to um, have uh, Demetrius Richardson um, and, be a part uh, of that project. When you're creating something um, sensual and you're trying to tell a story and um, the whole process of what was created and birthed out of Night of Love album, um, which I, I'm still pushing, it really didn't uh, get pushed the way that it should have from a marketing perspective, um, which uh, learned a lot of lessons this year. Going into 2013, trust and believe a lot of things are gonna come, it's gonna come straight hard. One of my greatest performances was um, when uh, I was at Scandalous, I think, um, and I pulled a guy up on stage, not knowing he was a comedian. And uh, the shirt came off and uh, the water bottle went all over his body. And um, that was with uh, comedian Prince Paul. I think that was one of my strangest performances. Uh, to play a little joke on Ke uh, Kevin uh, Glover, that was, I thought, one of my most funniest performances. And I ended up singing yes to him. Um, that was one of the, uh, I, actually it wasn't a planned performance, but I thought it was one of the greatest. Of course, I love doing things live, with live band. Um, one of uh, some of the people I've had uh, the honor to work with, of course, Demetrius Richardson, um, Aunt Fella, uh, who's a hot up and coming uh, rapper. Some of the people I would love to work with in the industry, uh, I would love to work with R. Kelly, um, Joe Levert would have been great had I had the opportunity to work with him. Um, and a lot of my styling, um, he was an inspiration as far as I think my, my stage performance. Um, um, I would also love to work with uh, Neo. Um, I would love to work with Luda. Would love to work with Stevie Wonder, of course. Love to work with Brian McKnight. Um, me being um, an aggressive vocalist, um, I would have to say R. Kelly's at the top of that list. Um, Layla Hathaway, of course. I love her. Um, my family. Um, of course, I, um, I'm raising artists, and me being an artist, and managing artists, and producing with artists is, is, is very uh, must-see TV. Um, <laughs> I, um, my son, Styx Maestro, uh, who actually produced the Stroke track, and um, is one of the youngest producers, I can say, that's uh, BMI affiliated, um, and um, you know he's just now going through puberty. So uh, yeah. Also, um, I have a daughter, Symphony, who's a recording artist, and uh, I got teenagers. Y'all pray for me. Um, <laughs> And I have a baby, uh, the baby Jazz. We're uh, just now working on uh, his project as well. As far as the, I, I do get a lot of comparisons uh, with regarding the Jackson Five when it comes to me and um, my children. Um, they, of course, all sing. Um, uh, my son Sticks has been doing tracks and production since he was about eight, and uh, he just turned 14, and. Um, for me to, I think one of the proudest moments for me to get phone calls from major industry people regarding his work is um, that that's a proud mama moment that lets me know, you know, I've taught him well and um, and trained him right. And um, so I, I don't have average kids. I've been told that I, well, I've been called Josephine Jackson. I don't know why I compare me to Joe Jackson, but um, I'm a little different than that, but uh, to a degree is somewhat hilarious.com. 
um, my uh, daughter, uh, Symphony, uh, who's an excellent songwriter, and um, I always tell my children to be better than me. Um, so I do. Ex I expect a little bit more out of them than I do uh, out of myself because I expect them to uh, take uh, things. I expect. I hold them at a higher standard. Uh, not only myself, but I, I just refuse to um, settle for less from them because they're too talented. My baby boy, same thing with him, Jazz. So I think that's going to be interesting, seeing his project and seeing how the people react to his project this year. So as a whole, um, church-wise, we sung a lot together. Um, Styx is a, a musician uh, in church also. He travels and plays for me um, uh, with the band. So um, so it's an, ex it's an experience. Um, my daughter, she does a lot of vocals for me as well. Uh, so it's been very interesting. And then vice versa, whenever they do shows, it's the shoes on the other foot. So, um, you know, playing for her, my daughter, or, you know, doing background vocals for her as well. So that's been fun. So uh, it's just teaching teamwork, teaching, um, uh, you know, instilling a work ethic uh, at an early age. I, I think it's uh, very important. I would say learn Especially. your craft, learn the business just as much as you learn your craft. Um, there's some shysty jokers out here, some, um, that movie, The Janky Promoters, they nailed that one on the head. Uh, <laughs> um, have a, a team in place, uh, know your paperwork. And if you don't know your paperwork, have an attorney that can look over your paperwork. Um, also, um, don't settle for just whatever when it comes to your sound tracks, um, because whatever you put out there, that's the first impression, the first presentation you present. People gonna look at you like, Ew, what was she thinking? Or what were they thinking? Um, that would be the advice uh, I would give to um, an up-and-coming artist. Um, be mindful of how you brand yourself, uh, strategically plan, um, have a plan in place. If this don't work out this way, have your plan B, C, D, and possibly E and F. Um, that those would be the advice, or that would be the advice that I would give. Um, for up and coming artists, um, be serious. Don't don't say you're serious about something and you don't do your homework or you don't study uh, your music or your craft or you know study the extra information you need to know before you go into a business meeting with uh, some some major you know uh, producers or with a major corporation or company that is trying to uh, sign you as an artist. Um, a lot of advance money isn't always a good thing. <laughs> um, there's Natara Soul Music, which I'm excited about, Natara Soul Music Group, um, which is my movement, my label, my company, my everything. It's a one-stop shop, um, just taking music back and the direction it, it should be in as far as developing artists and before you do, uh, just throwing them out there to the wolves, um, just uh, developing good quality artists, um, not an artist that you can auto-tune everything or just some good quality artists. Uh, Motown did it and I think we, uh, the, the one thing that's missing, we need to bring it back to that element. You know, you come to a Natara show your daddy, Paul, Paul, or your son might get freaked on stage. Who knows? Um, also, uh, a sensual soul love story. That's another project that I'm, I'm throwing out this year. Excited about working with Crucial. Um, excited about working with a lot of people this year. Um, excited. Uh, I've been blessed to be able to work with um, some new producers. Um, producers I have in-house, of course. 
and um, outside of uh, the Notara Soul Music Group. Music that's coming out this year, I would say it's coming from a real place. Not saying last year didn't come from a real place or nothing on uh, The Night of Love didn't. Um, a lot of those songs came from a real place. Um, and uh, trying to tell the story uh, sometimes. Uh, last year was a challenge, but this year it's coming from a real place. Uh, you will see Natara in magazines this year. You will see Natara in the theater this year. Um, a lot of people don't know that I um, also MD, uh, I have MD'd some stage plays. Um, but, um, so you'll be seeing Natara doing a lot of acting this year as well. Um, Natara will also, uh, I got tour dates um, that's about to drop, uh, jump off. Um, so I'll be in Virginia, DC, um, Philly, New York, and I'm excited about doing California, so I was excited about the, that phone call. Um, also, um, Natara will um, still producing, um, still um, doing all that what Natara no normally does. Um, but Natara is coming way out the box. Uh, there's no restraints this year, and um, so I. The real, true essence of Natara, uh, you're definitely going to get this year, no hold back. On iTunes, um, uh, Dance For Me uh, is a single that I'm um, pushing out uh, right now. Um, I'm excited about that. Um, also, I have a, a um, it's actually a storyline, so each single is going to be, the whole album is telling a story. But, um, so it's actual book but it's in story song format. Um, after the dance for me, then there's thick love. You already know what that's about. Um, but uh, iTunes, uh, Amazon, all your uh, music media outlets, you can look it up. You can go to natarasoulmusicgroup.com, the website, um, which uh, would be up and uh, pushing uh, as of uh, this week. So excited about that. Um, Facebook, Natara Songstress Reeves. Um, like the page, Natara Soul Music. Uh, Natara Songstress Reeves. Uh, like that page as well. Um, also, um, you can pretty much find me anywhere. YouTube. Um, and look out for the up and coming videos. Um, definitely taking it to a whole nother level this year. Have a talk with Jesus. We'll make, we'll make everything all right. No matter, no matter the problem, the situation. He's working it out. He's working it out for you. Be encouraged, my brother, my sister. The Lord, the Lord, He cares for you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> One thing that I, I want to share, especially with artists who, uh, are transitioning from church to, from a church setting to a secular setting. Um, I can honestly say, um, me being a MD, I've been, this past year, um, I know what it feels like to be fired from a church or let go because of my creative beliefs. Um, one thing, that happened to me this past year. I was let go um, from a ministry. Um, and the same day, um, I think my I got the call about my dad. So it was like it was a double whammy. Um, and he passed 
same week, I got the call that my dad wasn't going to make it the same day. Um, um, that being said, um, you know, and I stayed mute about it for quite some time. But, you know, there is, um, when you talk about things, you learn from it. There's healing in it. You move on and keep it moving. But um, for a lot, I run across a lot of uh, musicians and I run across a lot of singers who uh, want to pursue certain careers, but out of uh, non-support from um, the body of Christ or non-support from their church affiliate, um, they don't do it. Um, the only person you have to answer to is God. Um, me understanding what my purpose is and understanding that, um, you know, bringing love back to the forefront, um, where, whereas it's very descriptive, um, this is a business, so um, there are certain marketing things, you, of course, you have to do uh, from a business aspect, but um, just stay focused. Um, that was one of the things I had to deal with this past year. I dealt with a lot of church hurt. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you don't hear about the stories. Um, and uh, just brought back to my remembrance, um, me and the band, uh, it was a CIAA performance. And uh, in the parking lot after the show, a um, gentleman came up to me and um, he was, he was like, I know you're singing in somebody's church. And, and I'm like, yes. Yeah. So long story short, uh, brother was led to Christ in the parking lot. You don't hear about stories like that. Um, but that is something that has happened, you know, uh, after a Natara show. Um, I will say that much. But at the end of the day, um, I just would like to, if anything, I would like to, um, if my life isn't an example, I'm a mother, um, raising artists. However, my children understand that this is an artistry. They understand that this is a business, and certain levels do have to be pushed in order to tell a story. Uh, it's no different than um, acting theater, which I do that too. Um, it's, it's no different than uh, being an actress. It's no different. Than, it's, it's storytelling through song format. Um, but that's the one thing, um, I want to do is encourage or people not, if my life has to be an example of, um, if I can do it, you can and do it. And I would love to do a shout out to Leslie Annette, shout out to, uh, Symphony, shout out to the, the hot producer Sticks Maestro, who look out for his mixtape as well. Um, Jazz, uh, Miss Jasmine, um, and um, Jakea Thomas, look out for her as well, um, and all the other artists that uh, I'm going to be working with, um, and even the artists that I'm, I'm getting calls about coming to consult and vocal coaching and just all right. Also, tune in to Soul Mad Music Radio, which I am so proud to. Uh, be launching that this year um so the next couple of weeks be looking out for that um and it's uh neo soul um and poetry um on radio so if you got any stuff please make sure you get it to me at natara soul music at aol.com um also um be looking out for the fluffy diva um and um it's gonna be a good year Soul Mad Music Radio, excited about that. Um, look out for the Fluffy Diva Mix at 6, uh, which I am super excited about that. It's a, a segment on the radio show. Um, also, um, uh, Natara's Love Notes, and um, just excited about bringing size Fluffy into the year this year, representing all the Fluffy Divas out there. I got y'all. Um... It's a takeover. Let's you know? go. Dance Let's get it. Dance for me, you want.